How can the dimensions help us compute the volume? For example, what's another way to use the length of 8, width of 2, and height of 4 that you see with this rectangular prism to find out exactly how much it would take to fill this prism with unit cubes? In this lesson, you will compute the volume of a solid figure by using another volume formula. Let's review. You already know how to calculate the volume of a box using its dimensions. The dimensions are labeled with a U, which stands for, you could stand for any unit, such as centimeter, inch, yard, and so on. To find the volume of a rectangular prism, you multiply its length by its width by its height. We can describe that process by writing the formula length times width times height. And in the formula, you can see that the L stands for length, the W stands for width, and the letter H stands for height. So the answer to this is the volume is equal to 12 units cubed or cubic units. A common mistake students make is that when learning about the volume formula, students think it's the only efficient way to write it. If you really understand what's going on with volume, there's an even more efficient way to describe what's going on when computing volume. In this lesson, you'll learn another way to write the volume formula. So if we think about the base of a rectangular prism, we know that the base is two-dimensional and that if we multiply the length times the width, we're finding the area of the base. So the base in this prism is 5 units times 3 units, so the area is 15 square units. Then if you stack 15 unit cubes on top of the base, you have the first layer of a rectangular prism with dimensions of 5 by 3 by 1. Now we, this prism has five layers high, so we would do the 15 cubes multiplied by the five layers, and then we know we could write the formula as multiplying the area of the base times the height. So that's another way to write the formula. Length times width times height works too. Either formula will work, but this one's just a little bit faster because we're using what we already know about area. And it will also work well when you move forward in the grade levels and learn how to find the volume other types of geometric solids. So let's practice that. The, let's look at this prism and multiply the base times the height. And we know that 6 times 9 is equal to 54. And since there are, the height is 2, we're going to multiply, we're going to double that 54. And that will give us 108 cubic units. In this lesson, you've learned how to compute the volume of a solid figure by using another volume formula.